Hey, this is Donnie Smith, and welcome to another Q&A video. In this video, I'm going to answer a question that I had on YouTube, and this question comes from Mike Renza. It says, I just painted using Eastwood European, European Clear. When can I wet sand and buff and wax? And he also mentions that it's uh, 50 to 60 degrees. Now, this is in reference to a video where I was spraying the Eastwood European Clear, and I'll put a link down in the description if you want to watch that video. But as far as uh, wet sanding and buffing, on their technical data sheet, it says wait at least eight hours. Now, most technical data sheets are somewhere around 70 degrees. So if it's colder, you know, that may extend that a little bit. And if it's hotter, it might not take quite as long. But, you know, if you wait overnight, you're probably going to be safe. You know, 8, 10, 12 hours. You know, I usually buff things the next day. Uh, I'm not a production shop here, but, you know, production shops, you know, use clears that that drive in faster and they can buff them really fast but on this one you know if you let it set overnight uh, you'll probably be safe now I will mention that the, that is the best time to sand and buff because it's easier to sand that clear is still a little bit soft so uh, it's going to sand a little bit easier and it's going to be able to polish you know buff and polish easier too the longer you wait the harder that clear coat makes it a little bit more difficult to, to sand and buff now it can still be done at a later time but it's just going to be a little bit more effort with the with the buffing and the polishing to bring that full shine back. Now, whenever I'm talking about wet sanding and buffing, this is talking about using compounds and polishes. Uh, you do not want to use waxes on a new paint job. Uh, the the paint, you know, it's dry in that eight hours. I mean, all the solvents have evaporated and it's dry, but it's not fully hardened. And most paint companies say it takes like 90 days for that clear coat to fully cure. And they, they recommend not waxing it during that time. Uh, when it, whenever you do reach that 90 days, that three months, it is a real good idea to wax it, though, because the wax actually puts a coating on it that helps protect the clear coat you know, from contaminants in the air and things like that. So it is a good idea to wax it, but just wait, you know, wait until that time is up. Now, if it you know whether it really takes 90 days or not I don't know that's just what is recommended so you know I kind of follow the recommendations so if uh, you've already waited a couple of days you know it wouldn't scare me to go ahead and, and wet sand and buff uh, you do want to be careful with it you know when you're washing it and stuff make sure your mitts are all clean because remember that clear coat is still soft and it's easy to scratch you know that's why most uh, shops will tell you don't wash it for you know a week or two just in case you wash it improperly you know you don't want to uh, scratch it with uh, dirt in your wash mitt or things like that because that paint is more prone to to uh, get swirl marks and scratches you know from dirt so you just got to be a lot more careful but uh, a lot of people think that you can't wash the car the next day well I mean we do in the shops all the time you know we're sanding buff and washing but we just know to be real careful take our time and uh, make sure everything is super clean so anyway, I hope that helps answer your question. Uh, if not, leave me another comment or if you have other questions. Uh, I always appreciate these questions. And uh, if you like this video, be sure and give me a thumbs up, give me a like, and we'll see you in the next video.